writing doesn't always come easily to everyone, so today we're talking about how to tell your fundraising story. Hi, I'm Christy with Funds to Orgs, and this is my friend Eric. How you doing, everybody? He is a media specialist, and today we're talking about how to tell your fundraising story. Writing doesn't always come naturally to everyone, so we've put together some tips on how to tell your fundraising story that's unique and engaging for your donors. So you gotta get people interested immediately. It's almost like having clickbait or having that line in a song that gets stuck in your head forever. The main thing about it is finding something that engages your reader almost immediately and does it in a concise manner. It just grabs their attention almost right away and makes them want to help your shoe drive fundraiser. For example, if you work for an animal rescue or shelter, you would want to start your story off with a hook. A sentence such as, Every day we work with hundreds of rescued animals that would have nowhere else to go if it weren't for ABC Rescue. And doing something like that, you make people relate to your story and want to help almost immediately. So the next thing you want to do is set up your challenge, like uh, state the conflict of your problem. Like she was just saying, if it was a rescue, you want to say something like, every day, you know, we help out these animals, but then put up the conflict as well. You want to say something that's not negative, but will grab their attention and make them want to help. If you say something like you work for a rescue and every day tens or hundreds of animals have to be put down because they lack the funds to save, rescue, or give these animals medical attention, that states a challenge that people want to rise up and help you with. Because you stated this challenge for them, they feel personally involved and they want to help your conflict. And from that conflict, you can transition into why do you need people to donate their gently worn used and new shoes? And the reason why is that funds to orgs will issue us, whatever your fund is, a check based on the total weight of the shoes that you collect. Yep. Yep. And once people understand why we need the shoes to be collected, then you can tell them how exactly the money is going to be used. Yeah, like how are you going to use the funds for whatever charity you're using. So for the rescue, you can say something and keep it as small as possible because some people feel like a dollar doesn't do anything. And encourage people to donate by telling them exactly how the donations are going to work. So you say stuff like uh, 100 bags of shoes will help us to feed animals for a year. 150 will help us to feed animals in two different shelters for a year. 300 bags will do, etc., etc. By giving them goals and telling them exactly how their money and their donations can be spent, it makes people feel like they're more of a part of the community and a part of the event itself. And they're connected. Always. And another thing is you always want to recognize good work. You always want to thank your donors for donating whatever they donate, whether it's one bag, 10 bags, 20 bags, 50 bags, 150 bags, 7,000 bags, 200. I'm just going to stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> recognize their hard work. Recognize their donations. And make sure to tag them on social media, on Facebook. It doesn't really matter what they do because everybody likes to get a pat on the back and everybody wants to feel like they're a part of a community and a part of something bigger than them. So if your event gives people recognition, more people are likely to donate the next time you do your next event. So, to recap. You always want to make sure you do a very concise hook and message. Make sure you say exactly what you're doing. Next, you want to state why, what is the conflict. And next you state why you need the shoes. And then, once you've hit your shoe drive fundraising goal, how is that money going to be spent? And then lastly, always, always, always thank and recognize your donors. Make sure, make sure you go on social media and every outlet you can to make them feel like they were part of your event or shoe drive. And if you guys have any more questions, leave a comment below or feel free to email us at asap at fundstoorgs.com. Once again, I'm Christy and this is Eric. Make sure you like and subscribe our channel and we'll see you guys next time. See you next time. Bye. Hi. No. Slam <laughs> <laughs> my fist down. Writing doesn't always come easily. I'm Christy. Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Christy with Fun Store. No, you can't wave yet. I'll wave because I'm Christy. Beep boop, beep boop. My name is Christy. <laughs> that was good though.